I want to bring up the issue of uh, jail inspections. I've had several calls from people in the community regarding the jail. And in looking into um, asking for the inspection, apparently we're not being inspected. And under the statute, we're required to be inspected annually. Um, we should be operating under the model jail rules, which is the minimum standard. And a, my understanding is we're not doing that either. I am going to call for a, an inspection of the jail through the Florida Sheriff's Association, which inspects all the jails in the state. I've spoken with the gentleman who uh, monitors the inspection program. There's no cost to the jail inspection. I think that we have uh, an issue with liability, and there's no reason not to have an inspection. Mr. Michael. We had, uh, we, we have not been required by law, nor is it law today, to have an inspection since DOC stopped running inspections, I believe, in 1991. Uh, we had an inspection two years ago at the request of the FAC and the Florida Sheriff's Association. It would be nice if any commissioner has a question about any thing going on in the jail to contact the jail administrator or your warden who you pay to handle it. I understand you called Tallahassee. I, I got copied on the email. You're not required to have inspections. Not only do we not have them, Franklin County, Liberty County, Cameron County does not do them because they can't pass them. The ones who have the inspections for these model jail standards that, that you had, you paid a consultant before I came, uh, I'm $12,000 something. Anyway, they, they got you a book. It's in Don's office. I've got one in my office. Uh, if you want to spend about $3 million a year running your jail, you can apply, uh, comply with Florida model jail, jail standards. They say that you need a lot more people and you need a lot of things. But so we had a courtesy inspection. The same guy that said he would come down for free, although you have to pay for these, they did it for free because I told him we didn't have any money. He did the inspection and he did a report. In fact, Captain Farmer, that's been with the jail for 23 years, used to be a jail inspector. In fact, she used to go around the state and inspect jails. She didn't renew her certification this last time because nobody around us inspects their jails. They do to our west. Everybody to our west does. Virtually nobody to our east, other than Wakulla, does. Because they set these standards that say you've got to have so many personnel, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. We actually performed very well. Mr. Denard came down, came down over the Thanksgiving holiday even ate Thanksgiving dinner with us uh, on, on the Wednesday before. Uh, we performed the inspections. We did, we did great, except for the things that we could not pass. And uh, if, if you had asked me, I would have been glad to give you that information. You, you've never been to my office in the nine months that you've been commissioner. I've had one conversation with you in Mr. Butler's office, and that was about two weeks ago. It would help before we get off and call FDLE and call the Sheriff's Association. I did not call FDLE that if you would ask staff, staff could help. And, and, you know, it's do you want to put the county in a liable situation? Do you want to say, okay, you need X, Y, and Z? And if you don't correct out X, Y, and Z, you know, I can spend millions of dollars in that jail if that's what you want me to do. I'm trying to save money. We're running it efficiently. We're running it safely. We're running it to, to lessen the liability for the board. But it is not state law that you are required to have inspections. They encourage you to have these model jail standards, and it's being encouraged through the Florida Association of Counties and the Sheriff's Association. They want everybody to check off. But when it first came up, and it, it, of all things, when Mr. Williams was fixed to be the chairman of the FAC, Mr. Williams called me and said, Chris Holly, I really want you to do this inspection. So I called the lady and I said, what, what, they're not required. No, they're not required, but, but you're the only one in Northern Sparta that hadn't done it. So I picked up the phone. I called Donnie Conyers in Liberty County. Donnie said, we haven't had inspections since DLC did. I picked up the phone. I called Chef Tatum in Cowan County. We don't do the inspections. I picked up the phone and called uh, Franklin County. I talked to the captain over there. He said, I'm a certified jail inspector. We don't do inspections. We can't meet them. So, again, if you, if you want the staff's recommendation, whether it's Don's or the attorney's or mine, we will give you that, but, but calling the state and then coming back and saying that, that these are required by state law, they're not required by state law. There are a lot of things that they suggest, but they don't. Now, we can have one and we can call them tomorrow, but when they give you a list of items that says, this is what Florida Model Jail Standards say, and this is what you need to do to meet them, and then you don't do it, and you have something go wrong, then you open yourselves up to liability. So we're trying to lessen liability. They're going to tell you you need a lot of things and a lot more staff. And uh, so I, I believe we're in full compliance 
and I do not recommend that. So let me say something to that. Uh, before I come on the board, I think the past jail administrator was making about ten thousand dollars more than what what our present jail administrator makes, and he lived in Bay County, and we provided him a vehicle, and we paid for him to go back and forth. Since since Mr. Hammond's been jail administrator, he's reduced the budget. He's give back every year. He might not be able to do this year with all the expenses, but he's give back every year to the to the cash carry forward, to the tune of about a hundred and something thousand last year, I think it was. And so he's he's run that jail as we would have a small community in small county run that jail. And let me tell you something: the inspection of that jail, you need to have walked in there eight or ten years ago and seen that jail and walk in there today. It's a hundred percent difference. I commend you on what you do, Mike. Thank you. And sir. Mr. Hammond, I did not contact FDLE. As a matter of fact, I was contacted by people in the community. Someone in the community contacted Mr. Denard. That's how I was connected to Mr. Denard. And he is the inspector for the Florida uh, Sheriff's Association. He coordinates the program. We have a $1.2 million budget for our jail. If there is nothing going on in the jail, there should not be an issue in inspecting it. And I'm not saying there is something going on. But when you take the position that you open yourself up to liability by being inspected, I beg to differ with you. Statute does say that you shall be inspected there's not an enforcement mechanism built into the statute. They cannot force you to be inspected. But when you are inspected, and when you strive to follow the minimum standards of the model jail rules, that is where you are minimizing your liability. If something happens, you can show that you've been inspected, you could show that you're following the minimum standards, and that you're doing everything you can to follow the rules. When you don't allow an inspection, that is when you open yourself up to uh, liability if something happens. We should be trying to do everything that we can to operate a, within the, the bounds of the law and the minimum jail standards, the model jail standards are the minimum standard. Now, if we don't meet those standards, an inspection saying we don't meet them is not going to change the fact that we don't meet them. So if something happens, having that inspection is not going to change the results, but at least it shows that we're trying to do what is expected of us. We are in control of people's lives in that jail. We control when they sleep, when they eat, everywhere they move, everything they do. And I think that it's important to the people of this county to know that that jail is being handled properly. And I'm not saying it isn't. But when we're not being inspected, people have questions about that. Mr. Hammond, in the last six or eight years, have we had any mishap in the jail? Have we had any uh, major thing? If, if we were having issues with the jail, I would understand less, less, less moving forward. I haven't had any issue with the jail or any constituent would call me about the jail. It's been, it's been run efficiently and it's been run appropriately. And and that's all I've got to say about it. I don't, I'm going to ask for an inspection when I when I've when I've got a man over there that's running that jail that has shown that he's capable that has, there, there's been no issues and and I have no issue with. Well, that. I I don't understand why you wouldn't want the inspection, but I'm not asking this board to ask for an inspection. I am asking for an inspection as a county commissioner. I am concerned about the liability to this county, and I am concerned about my role in that liability. And I intend to have the jail inspected. That's, I, I don't have a problem with that, but Michael, that inspection is going to show us that we need to probably add on 10 or 15 people, isn't it? I don't know about that. It's, it's going to show a lot of things. The, the model jail standards are not law. They are something that's set up by the Sheriff's Association and supported in, in part by F, uh, FAC as certain criteria that you want to meet. I mean, it's just like certified law enforcement agencies throughout the state. Some do, some don't. I mean, some you have to run, you know, you, you get hired in Bay County, you have to run a, a mile in, in, in such a time. There, there are certain things that we cannot meet, either by fact or by amount of money you want to spend in that jail. And it's not just Gulf County. I mean, that's the fallacy. It's any small county jail. You know, everybody to our west gets inspected. The people to our east, all around the coast, do not. And there's a reason, because they can't meet those requirements. I don't think it's necessary. 
If the board tells me to get it inspected, we'll get it inspected. And I'll bring you the report and show you where your deficiencies are. If that's what you want. Why would you want an inspection when you know you're not going to pass the inspection? But the only thing that's going to do is create, I mean, we seem here not talking about saving money. And Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Denard has stated that all of the jails except Gulf County are being inspected. Now, Liberty and Calhoun may not make each year, because it's just in the calendar year. It's not a specific date that you need to be inspected. And they may be behind, but they are in the process of being inspected. The other jails are inspected. The Bay County Jail is inspected. You can't at go no out cost. St. Joe to Bay County. No, I'm no. not going to sit back and watch that. No, I'm saying at no we're cost. Not jails to Bay County. We not. We don't even have what it comes close to be a Bay County. Mr. Chairman, I was saying they are inspected at no cost. It wasn't a favor that we got inspected. I, I don't at no believe cost. that's the case. I, most most places. I mean, when 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 Guff County took the jail back from the sheriff several years ago, Guff County paid twelve thousand dollars to have that inspected. Most places pay because they can't, even though Bay County has two or three people that are certified jail inspectors, you can't inspect your own jail. Most, most places pay. Mr. Denard did a courtesy voluntary inspection because I told them we could not pay. Our initial cost was like $3,800 plus travel for a licensed jail inspector to come. And the one we were going to get at the time was Ocala. But it's not required. That's number one. If the board wants one, we'll get one done, and I'll bring you the report. My recommendation is not to do it. And my recommendation is to, even though they're pushing it, uh, if, unless something's changed drastically in the last very little bit, they told me the exact same thing, and I picked up the phone and called my neighboring counties, and they're not doing it because they can't meet it. So I'll do whatever the board wants you to do. You pay me good money to run that jail, I'm going to run it right. I'm not going to federal prison for breaking the laws or violating people's civil rights or anything like that. I care about me a lot more than I care about y'all. And, and so, you know, you're paying me good money to run it. My suggestion is let me run it. But if the board tells me to, to do that inspection, we'll do it. And, and, and I have nothing to get Mr. Denard, although they want everybody in their little cabal to do you know, everything in lockstep. It does not work. And he was very nice. And he personally came down and did that inspection. So, I mean, I know him. But the fact that we don't cooperate and... Calhoun County and Liberty County and Franklin County and Taylor County and all these other little counties don't cooperate. They don't particularly like that because they like these bureaucrats. They want everybody to be in lockstep. You can't afford to meet model jail standards, period. And not only you, most other small counties can't either. So well, I'm, that. I'm concerned about the liability for the people of Gulf County. I'm not concerned about the other counties. And the, the issues with corrections and incarcerating people go back to the beginning of time. And it is serious. And you have someone's liberty. And there is no reason not to be inspected. Whether we meet the standards or not does not change the fact that we haven't met them. And if something happens, it doesn't mean that we were neglectful. Sometimes things happen. But if that incident happens, even if we're not at fault, they're going to go in and investigate. It doesn't change anything about the way we're operating. But at least we've had that inspection, and we've made that attempt. But again, I'm going to call for the inspection. I'm not asking Mr. for the board action. I'm, uh, just, uh, <laughs> I'll comment on two things, Mr. Chairman. Um, first, with regards to the statutory compliance, I'll be happy to report back to you all. I've heard the commission. I've heard um, uh, Mr. Hammond. I'll be happy to come back at our next meeting and report to you all specifically with the statute um, has uh, with regards to the requirements. In terms of liability, there's everything there's liability in everything that this county does. So the meeting today, as evidenced by the recent suit that was dismissed, there's liability in everything that the county does and performs. So yes, there's a liability in running that jail. There's a liability every day. Um, you know, Commissioner Yeager asked in the past couple of years, in terms of my as your county attorney, I have one uh, incident where a gentleman was wearing slides and I think he hurt his shoulder playing basketball in the yard. That's, the, that's what I have in terms of past two and a half plus years of liability in terms of uh, incidents that have gone to uh, litigation. Um, so yes, to answer your question, there is absolute liability in everything. There's liability in that jail. Um, whether you all decide to inspect or not, I will come back in two weeks and give you uh, a review of the statute and let you know what is required of you by state law. Um, and we all this, there's a motion to agree to is to we can do. Okay. Um, and like I said, I'll be happy to come back in two weeks and let you know what's required in the statute. I, I don't think it requires board action to have an inspection. <laughs> I'm not I'm not making that motion. 
Well, I'm, I'm not doing it unless the board tells me to or Don does, does. So, I mean, that's where I'm at. So, they're not going to inspect unless the board says inspect or Don Butler tells me to inspect. So, you're going to I'm refuse to allow an inspector and a county commissioner to come well, into the jail? If the board of county commissioners directs me to have that inspected to Florida Model Jail Standards, I will do it. Or if Don Butler tells me to do it. And otherwise, nobody's coming into jail to inspect or anything else. You have no authority. No. Oh, I'm going to call for the inspection. As a county commissioner, I have a right to have that jail inspected. I, I care about the liability and the possibility of gross negligence that could happen. Listen, Mr. Mr. Yeager, you might think it's funny. I worked in a jail. I've worked in law enforcement. It's not funny. These people live there. You know, what's, uh, what I think is uh, amazing is we've got a jail that's never had an issue, and you're pressing the issue. I, I, I don't know what the motivation is. I have no clue. I'm just saying that, that, that we've got a staff person that has run that jail for years I'm not without kidding. any issue, and uh, without any issue. And, and you're, you're basically, you know, I mean, going I'm, against I'm not staff saying. recommendation. I'm, I'm, I'm sure Mr. Hammond is doing a wonderful job. So there should be no reason not to allow an inspector in. But I'm new on this board. I think that there are certain ways that things should be done. That's why it's all of a sudden. I was not on this board before. But Ms. Bryant, what I'm trying, this is what I don't understand. What's the purpose of having a supervisor, having someone in charge, if they give you a recommendation and you just, I mean, Mr. Hammond run the jail. I haven't had no complaints from no one to call me about that jail. If it's not broken, I try to fix it. Seems like everything's doing fine. Guys, I serve on the small county coalition. I'm telling you that the small counties cannot do the, some of the things that the larger counties do. We can't put that on the backs of our taxpayers. If we were in total compliance, there's no telling how many people you, we would have to add to that jail. And I'm, 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 I'm just saying that every small county runs it the best that they can possibly do, and we're fortunate that we've had a, a, a guy over there that hasn't had any issues. You'd have, you'd have, to, you'd have to raise the, the uh, property tax by about 10 meals. Having the inspection does five. not change that <laughs> fact. But the people in Gulf County should know where, where we might need to make changes and let them talk to the, their commissioners about those changes. I'm surprised that it, it's met with such, such negativity. I would think we would want to do the best that we can. Right. I'm done. Thank you.